everyone, welcome to the channel Knowledge Star Way to Continuous Lifelong Learning. My name is Nisha Masroo. In this video, we will get to know about the functionalization of carbon nanoparticles. So our expert Professor Gohidar, who is associated with National Center Excellence in Agro Nanotechnology, Terry Dyker Nanotechnology Center, India. He has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research. His area of expertise includes nanoscience and nanotechnology, nanobio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics and biophysics. We'll explain to you in detail about this topic. So to get complete information, watch full video without skip. Functionalization of carbon nanoparticles. One simplest way of doing it is look at the left hand panel. We have this carbon nanoparticle, which is shown as a black sphere. Then it is refluxed for 48 hours at about 50 to 60 degrees temperature with sodium methoxide in presence of Triton X100, which is a surfactant, neutral surfactant. After a couple of hours, the surface of the carbon nanoparticle get functionalized with hydroxyl groups, also methoxy groups there. We don't want these methoxy groups to be sitting there. We want to get rid of them. That is the first level, conversion. In the second stage, step, we reflux it with methyl alcohol, methanol. For about 12 hours and again at the same temperature. And all these CH3O groups disappear there and this fully gets functionalized hydroxyl groups. And if you have hydroxyl groups on the surface of a particle, it can be bound to various different kinds of molecules. They are very, very friendly. And the process of functionalization can be changed using the FTIR spectroscopy here. In the first step, you see the FTIR spectra, which is the middle one, FNCPS1. The presence of this methoxy group is seen at close, less than 1,000 centimeter inverse and also close to 3000 centimeter inverse, about 2800, 2900 centimeter inverse. When you do the second step, all that disappear or get minimized. And what you have only is the COH vibrations. So these are basically the carbonyl groups. And that's what we want. And that is further supported by Raman spectra. On the right hand side of the panel, you see these two characteristic bands again of carbon nanoparticles at the bottom. One is at 1350, and the other one is 1580. These are the signature D and G bands, sp2 through sp3 vibrations of the carbon structure. Now, when you have the 1600, 1060 centimeter inverse peak there, this is the signature of the formation of this carbonyl group, means the surface is now functionalized. And you can see very prominent peak there, means you have a wonderful functionalization of the surface. Okay, so now you have a functionalized carbon nanoparticle with you, which can be done overnight with very simple steps using methanol and sodium methoxide, two easily available salts. None of these chemicals are toxic. Sodium methoxide is used in a lot of pharmaceutical products to make medicines. Okay. So the entire process of functionalization is again using soft chemistry. Reactions are happening at 60 degrees Celsius, not too high, nothing hazardous, nothing explosive. 
no danger involved. So from the synthesis to the functionalization, one can systematically carry out the entire process anywhere. And figuring out whether the material has been functionalized or not can be also done very easily simply by looking at the FTIR spectra. And FTIR spectra, I believe, is available in most of the places. And if you want to a reconfirmation of the functionalization or the synthesis process, the ultimate proof is with Raman spectroscopy. Raman spectroscopy is a wonderful tool for carbon-based materials to test their purity, their functionalization, their properties, grain size, crystalline structure. A lot of information can go can be obtained from Raman data. I hope you like this video. If you want to see these type of videos, please do comment. We will definitely look after them. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.